Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Deputy Chief of Air Staff DCAS, the Air Marshal Asutosh Dikshit has visited the National Flight Test Center, Aeronautical Development Agency and HL Tejas Division to assess the progress of the indigenous combat aircraft projects. A keen experimental test pilot himself, he has been driving the Aat Nirbhar Bharat efforts of the Indian Air Force towards self-reliance in the development and manufacture of combat aircrafts. During his visit, the Air Marshal flew the series production Trainer 01 of the Light Combat Aircraft LC Tejas, which is undergoing final developmental test sorties to get a first-hand feel of its capability. The Indian Air Force is presently operating the LCA Mark 1 aircraft and has pending order of 83 LCA Mark 1A aircraft. During the visit to Tejas Division, the HL team briefed DCAS on the production status of trainer aircraft and the plans for delivery of LCA Mark 1A. The DCAS will also visit the Light Combat Helicopter LCH percent production line to assess the production status of the homegrown combat helicopter. The delivery of 10 LCH limited series production aircraft for Indian Air Force is nearing completion and the production of series production aircraft is likely to commence to meet the order of 145 series production LCH for Indian Air Force and Indian Army. And this is big news because we all have been waiting for this big order. On 17th May 2023, HL has officially said that the Defense PSU has successfully completed the production of 15 light combat helicopter LCH Prachand against the 15 LCH contract. HL had delivered 8 LCH ahead of the contract schedule. Last year, HL has also completed the delivery of 32 LH Mark III to Indian Coast Guard and Indian Navy. HL also received a letter of intent for nine more helicopters from the Indian Coast Guard. The pace with which HL has been delivering the helicopters is really commendable. The unique performance criteria of Prachand and being able to deliver at high altitude warfare has put Indian Armed Forces leap ahead of other countries. The helicopter is unmatched when it comes to the performance. The slow speed performance at lower flight altitude and good standoff distance for attack makes this helicopter lethal, accurate and force multiplier for the infantry. The LCH Pushan is also known for its low observable design. The helicopter features a narrow fuselage and tandem seating for pilot and co-pilot. The features which improves the stealth characteristic of the helicopter are digital camouflage, the infrared suppressor fitted in the engine exhaust and an exterior covered by canted flat panels to minimize its radar cross-section. It is furnished with an integrated dynamic system including a hingeless main motor and bearingless tail rotor which works in conjunction with an anti-resonance isolation system to dampen the vibration. LCH is probably the most agile design in the world because of its rotor. The LCH also comes up with a glass cockpit, integrated avionics and display systems which uses an array of multifunctional displays along with target acquisition and designation TADS system. The helmet mounted side HMS is a prominent feature of TADS which is used for targeting and triggering the rotorcraft's armaments. It's also equipped with self-sealing fuel tanks, bulletproof windshields and damage tolerant main rotor blades to withstand small firearms. The LCH Prachand is going to be a game changer for Indian Armed Forces as it is the only assault helicopter in the world capable of taking off and landing at altitudes of 5 km while carrying considerable armament and fuel loads. The helicopter can meet the requirement of troops serving in the areas such as Siachen, Kargil, Leh and Ladakh. The LCH has total weapon payload capacity of 920 kgs. It can be armed with variety of weapons including air-to-air missiles, 70mm rockets, 20mm turret gun, anti-tank guided missiles, pre-fragmentation bombs, high-speed and no-drag bombs and fuel tanks. In the year 2019, 
Prachand had been tested against a moving aerial target with an air-to-air missile at integrated test range in Odisha's Chandipur. The air-to-air engagement was the distinction of being first ever in India by any helicopter. While the details of missile was not shared, but it's most likely going to be MBDS Mistral 2. Prachand has four hard points, two on the either side, where weapons can be loaded in almost all permutation and combination. It can carry 16 anti-tank guided missile, four on each hard point. It can also carry four anti-tank missile on two hard points and four air to missile or two 70mm rocket pods with each pod carrying 12 by 70mm rockets on its remaining two hard points. Prachand is also capable of carrying 250kg bombs, which could be either a pre-fragmentation bombs or a high speed or a low drag bomb. It can also carry four air to missiles on the other two pods along with the bombs. While Prachand is being hailed as a great acquisition for armed forces and a symbol of self-reliance and defense, still the gunship requires a fair amount of work before it can operate to its full firepower. While the helicopter comes integrated with Mistral air-to-air -air launcher, the order of missiles is still awaited. The helicopter's main role is going to be a tank buster, but it is yet to be integrated with an anti-tank guided missile. The Helena ATGM, whose Air Force version is also called Dhruvastra, is planned to be integrated with LCH. The missile has a range between 5 meters to 7 kilometers. The integration of ATGM has been fast-tracked and it is expected by the mid of 2023. The another major component that needs to be integrated with LCH Prachand is the electronic warfare suite. The LCH is going to be protected via an extensive electronic warfare suite provided by the SAB group called Integrated Defensive Aids Suite or IDAS. Now this suite comprises of various defensive elements including a radar warning receiver, a laser warning receiver and a missile approach warning system. In June 2022, it was reported that SAB was in final stage of transferring IDAS technology to HL and both firms are working together on its future version that is IDAS-3. There is no official confirmation or reports on the timeline of integration of IDAS with Prashant. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.